Uh, this video focuses on how to adjust your handlebars on the beach cruiser. So the part of the bike that the handlebars are attached to is called the gooseneck, which is right here. There are two adjustments, two bolts, one on the top and one on the front. So the first adjustment I'm going to show you is how to raise or lower the handlebars. Now normally on newer bikes, it's an Allen bolt that does this adjustment. Older bikes will have a hex nut or something to that effect. Today I'm going to use a little multi-tool that I take on bike rides with me that has a, you know, a few different Allen wrench sizes, the most popular ones. Basically, put your Allen wrench in, turn it counterclockwise. Now many times you'll see the handlebars sink like this into the head tube. Many times they won't though, and I'll show you why. So basically, when you tighten up a gooseneck, it creates a wedge inside of that head tube, which makes it fit tight. Sometimes you'll go ahead and unscrew that bolt, but that wedge stays in place. What I recommend, if you ever see that happen, is to cover that bolt with a rag, and then take a hammer and give the top of that bolt a little tap, which will knock that wedge loose. It's at that point that you can then you know, raise the handlebars or lower them to whatever height is comfortable for you. Just be aware most goosenecks have hash marks or a line uh, that you're supposed to pay attention to. You don't want to go above that because then it would be dangerous. So basically you do not want to see that line. So in this case our maximum would be right there. Today I'm adjusting these handlebars to the maximum height and then I'm retightening it. Finally Stand over the bike, look straight down the gooseneck, make sure it's lined up with the wheel. As you can see here, that gooseneck is not lined up with that front tire. In fact, it's pointing a little bit to the left. You want it to be straight in line with that tire. Basically, all you have to do is just loosen that top bolt up just a little bit. Step around to the front of the bike, put the tire firmly between your legs. Loosen that bolt just a little bit, maybe half turn and then look straight down at that tire. Make sure that gooseneck is lined up perfectly in line with the tire. Hold on to the handlebars and re-tighten. Hold on to the handlebars, give it a good twist. If you feel that gooseneck moving at all, then you need to re-tighten it. But really, if you tug on it and pull on it, it should not give or move whatsoever inside of this head tube. So what we're going to do now is adjust the pitch of the handlebars. Uh, what might work for me might not work for someone else. They might prefer those handlebars to be lower or much higher. It's just all a matter of personal preference and comfort. All right, folks, very easy adjustment here. A lot of times you will have an Allen bolt on the front uh, just like the one back here, but this is a standard nut and bolt on this one And I am going to use a ratchet with a half inch socket to loosen that up Now you don't have to totally loosen this bolt just uh, you know back it off a few turns and you'll see that with a little resistance These handlebars move fairly easy Once it's loose. I do recommend going around to the back side of the bike grabbing onto the grips you know, uh, mess around with the adjustments. See what you think would be most comfortable for you. When you get them there, come back around and then just tighten up the bolt. Now what I recommend once you think you have that bolt tightened to where you need it to be, go around to the back of the bike, you know, put some weight on those handlebars, crank down on them. If these handlebars move or give it all, readjust, come back around to the front, retighten that bolt. You know, apart from a loose wheel on your bike, I'd say a loose handlebars are probably the next most dangerous thing to have. So always make sure you got that bolt plenty tight. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, keep an eye out as I will have more instructional videos on the way on how to maintain your beach cruiser. Thanks and take care.